Welcome to the Walton Pi. Today I'm going to go through a practice problem that involves finding the derivative of a function using the definition of the derivative. And this sort of problem is likely one that would show up on a fairly early calculus test, maybe the first or second test in Calculus 1. Now before I get started, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps me to keep making these videos. Okay, so if we are given the function f of x is 4 divided by 3 minus x, and we are asked to use the definition of the derivative to find f prime of x, how would we do this? Well, with this one, because we're trying to find the derivative function, there's only one definition. If it was the derivative at a point, there would be two, but here, there's only one definition. And that is, f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So let's just plug in x plus h and x and h into this formula and see what we are ending up getting. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of 4 divided by 3 minus x minus h minus 4 divided by 3 minus x all over h. Okay, now how do we rewrite this so that we can be able to cancel out the h on the bottom. Because this is causing some problems. Dividing by zero, we can't do that. So we need to somehow find a way to cancel that h inside the limit. Well, we're going to need to somehow combine the top in such a way that an h is going to pop out. And the way we're going to be doing that is by trying to get those to have a common denominator. So let's look at that. So let me first just rewrite this. So it's the limit as h goes to zero, a whole bunch of stuff over h. We have a 4 divided by 3 minus x minus h, and we have minus 4 divided by 3 minus x. Now how do we get a common denominator? Well, we're just going to multiply each fraction by 1, but we're going to multiply that 1 is going to be a very special type of 1. So 3 minus x minus h, that fraction we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 3 minus x. And then the other one, we're going to multiply the top and bottom by 3 minus x minus h. Now when we do that, this will allow us to be able to combine some terms. So we get the limit as h goes to 0, bottom's still all over h. The top is going to be a 3 minus x minus h times 3 minus x. Now because we have stuff in the bottom of both, we can just rewrite all of that and put all of those pieces in the bottom of this entire fraction. So I'm just going to do that now. So we get h 3 minus x 3 minus x minus h. And then the top is going to have 4 times 3 minus x. So that's a 12 minus 4x. We have minus 4 times the other one, so 12 minus 4x minus 4h. And now I'm going to distribute that minus sign all the way through, so a minus there, plus, and a plus. Then, notice that some of these terms cancel, 12 and minus 12, minus 4x plus 4x, and all we're left with is a 4h. So we get the limit as h goes to 0 of 4h divided by h 3 minus x, 3 minus x minus h. The h is now cancel, and now we can plug in h equals 0, and we get 4 divided by 3 minus x squared. And that is the derivative of 4, minus, 4 divided by 3 minus x. Now you could have done this using the chain rule or the quotient rule, and you would have gotten the right answer, but you would have not gotten full credit because you did not use the definition of the derivative. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you really liked it, please like the video. Um, if you have other videos you'd like me to go over, please leave those in the comment section down below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and good luck with all of your math.